So on this episode of modernizing my Rover 75, we're going to install a tracker. Now this is from Vodafone. Basically it's a two quid a month subscription and it's 20 quid for the device. So it's pretty damn good. Um, it's a year contract or two years, depending on which one you pick. I think it's three quid for one year, two quid for two years. I don't foresee myself getting rid of any cars in the next two years. So I bought myself the two year contract of it. There's no way to get paid as you go, unfortunately though. So what I've ended up doing is there's these in majority of the cars, but there's multiple of them hidden in various places. It's absolutely brilliant. Besides one of them, which has a proper, proper tracker in it. But if you're on a bit of a budget and you don't want an obvious tracker, this is probably the best one. And it's, you know, it modernizes the car a bit. We've got the screen and all that jazz, which I'm going to show you how to put the Rover logo on it. And then we've got the tracking now. We've got the new headlights as well. We've got the bigger wheels, which are obviously more in fashion now. Next, of course, is probably the backup camera, which is what I'm interested in installing next. But we've already got the front camera. So yeah, she's going very well. I, would, I wouldn't I would mind seeing if I can install a wireless charger in here. I'll perhaps take that out. See where there's these holes. I assume that's probably for a cigarette lighter. So if I could perhaps find a cigarette lighter model and you know stick swap them over and wire it in that would be brilliant as well because i've always wanted sort of a, a charger that i can always use a friend of mine's insignia had that like years ago and he probably still has it now but yeah that that was brilliant that that really really was something like that just got me i was like oh charging all the time brilliant so yeah if i could probably install some usb ports or something in there or even just swap it out with an oem thing like if the i'm not even sure i think the only they only had the one in there and the one in the boot for the Tara, but I could be 100% wrong on that. So we've got to pick a, su a suitable place for this. Again, uh, a few places I would recommend. These only last about 10 days on power saving mode. So you could probably wire it in somewhere, which is what I'm going to do. The location of it is going to change though. So don't worry, I'm not giving this away to any potential thieves who are doing really good research and watching my youtube videos thanks for the views um places i would recommend real light cluster chuck it in there recharge it every 10 days you could even connect it to an external battery and um, watch my who's it what's that thing called a battery bank you could connect it to that and sellotape the thing because the problem is with them is this thingy oh, i've got so much cat hair all over me today um this thing is like magnetic so you can easily pull it off as you can see there just by twisting it i pulled it off so just sell tape it together but i'm going to install mine at the back of this for today so let's get to it so mine has been dead for a while so you know i decided i've got to charge it but obviously just check your power works it's really for me though it's about oh also i've covered that because i've accidentally scratched my climate control but I want to check my actual camera's still working. Um, there we go. Okay, camera's still working very nice. So it's not interfering with anything yet, as far as I'm concerned. So that's nice. It's just really a case of seeing if it sits there charging it at a decent enough rate to, you know, keep it, keep it going. Because, I mean, if someone was to steal the car and you have a tracker, if you're not finding it within those first... 10 days it's pretty much gone anyway the police when my car got stolen they said if you don't find it within the next 24 to 48 hours it's dead it's gone you'll never find it again so unless it's been in a big police chase with a big crash so yeah so that's essentially wired into the back of there i'm gonna wrap it up and then stick it somewhere up in the the ether so nobody can find it <laughs> so yeah that's that bit so in a minute I'm gonna show you obviously how it works and how you can see all the stuff on your phone. As you can see on my watch, it's telling me that the device is charging, which obviously happens every time you turn this car on. So I just need to give it a, oh, I need to turn the radio down. Right, so we need to show you how to do the um, good old um, logo. So you go on to car settings, to the bottom, extra settings, Yours might be the same, it might not be the same. It is not 
the letter R. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if anyone breaks into my car and changes it to a Deu or a BMW, which would be worse, there you go. <laughs> if you want, if you want to do that, you need to find. Um, keep going, keep going. Logo settings, not model choose because there's none. And then what I've done is you format this FAT32 or FAT and then you basically put a PNG of the Rover logo on there. I'll link the exact one I use because I found that if you used one of these bigger ones here, like these, they always end up too too large. So I'll link that one in the um, in the description. So that is about it really for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Keep watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a bit of a short one, but unfortunately, it is the situation at the moment. So, cheers for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe.